Well, well, well. I told you guys, Respawn always does this. They give us some signs of hope, like, oh, wow, Respawn's finally listening to the community. And then they like turn around and slap you in the face. It's just like, bro, come on. Why did we even start to believe in it? On the flip side, there is one specific developer I have to give a lot of props to because he's doing his part for sure. We'll talk about the meeting he sat in last night to listen to all of these pro players bash and complain respawn. But hey, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Got a big announcement. First off, all the giveaway winners literally told me, hey, I don't want the Ash heirloom. Can I just get the money instead? So we ended up just giving away a bunch of money yesterday. Nobody seemed to want the heirloom itself. I guess that's how bad this one seemed to be but thank you to everybody that tuned in for the giveaway stream monday night it was a blast we had so much fun one of you guys in the youtube comments almost won it named caleb stir i don't know if you're here watching this video but you're so close we ended up going to another guy named creeper matt and it was all done on a spin wheel live so we had a lot of fun but i am excited to tell you that we are giving away listen to this an xbox series x playstation 5 or an entry level pc with the start of my brand new channel called the apex lounge so you guys know i pull a lot of clips from other youtube channels or even on my algs channel sometimes we'll pull clips from other youtube channels and basically my idea was to have a youtube channel dedicated to posting all of these viral clips that i keep seeing pop up on my twitter page and stuff like this and kind of build like my own ecosystem with all of this stuff so if you guys want to win a series x a playstation 5 or entry level pc the link is down in the description below to go subscribe to that channel if you like comment and subscribe on any video you get one entry per video we're picking our winner at the end of the month and i think you'll enjoy this channel if you like to watch anything about the pro scene or pro players or their viral clips or the drama that goes on and you're going to be seeing a lot of these clips made into topics on this channel as well or maybe even my algs channel the trade-off with this one though is you're going to see a lot more uploads over there and a lot shorter videos that don't really drag it out so sorry for the long intro but i do have timestamps for you to skip past if you guys didn't want to hear about the giveaway so let's go ahead and dive right into this so there was a big update that was released for apex recently not big in file size but big in impact it was supposed to mean a lot for players Players. and people were going to be very excited for the way that apex was handling this because players had been basically forcing hey we need an update before we have this pro league match we need an update before you start allowing us to do this and they actually came to the rescue and listened and said okay we heard you we're gonna pause this we're gonna pause that we're gonna update and fix this first well they did that and it just sadly made things worse so you guys may remember if you watch my algs channel where we talk about all things algs there was actually supposed to be some pro matches that were supposed to be happening on this latest summer Sunday and there's a lot of pro players that were aggravated because apparently the POI known as the trials were like it was completely bugged out you couldn't loot over there at all so a lot of people and teams that have the trials as a landing spot all of a sudden they're screwed over because they can't loot over there it's like a weird bug I don't know why it doesn't allow you to loot apparently we knew according to a data miner known as Sinos there was actually going to be an update coming April the 10th and so they decided to update the game and in theory everybody was glad that respawn decided to delay the pro matches because they thought that that meant we were going to get a fix before the next pro matches start of course nothing is final until respawn themselves come out and say here's what's going to happen or here's what our plans are here's what we are fixing but according to this update patch, Sinos let us know that the update just seems to be some minor bugs. Custom match now has an inspect player. Belgian players can now buy event items. Oh, go figure. The update invite, you know, and you know, kind of fix somebody buying something. Vantage bat no longer spawns on the other side of the map as well. And nothing new cosmetic related. So we also had pro player Fussy over from the APAC South region on team Onik said it seems like to me respawn and ea do not give a single crap about the pro scene they delay the algs has turned out to be literally for nothing so they delayed it thinking like we're gonna get fixes for this finally but no they delayed it for nothing he says no audio fix no trials fix this is pathetic and even shortly after this rkn had also said did audio just get tremendously worse and tracers also since the update today was the first time i've experienced almost every single game fully silent fights with no visual effects it's pretty wild recently maybe just bad rng and everyone in the comments also seems to say that since the update everything seems to have gotten worse especially the audio but remember when i said there was one specific developer i definitely have to give some credit to well that's john larson the game designer also known as we like to say the game balancer right he's the one who really makes the advocations for or intercessions for a uh, buff for this legend a buff for that legend a nerf for this legend a nerf for that gun whatever it may be he's the one doing a lot of this stuff and he's also been a guy who was a fan of apex a player of apex before he even got the job over there i think he's a great fit over there 
Well, Nicewig decided to say that they're going to have a podcast episode with Mr. Greek God, Imperial House, Snipe Down, Drop, Nocturnal, Zach Mazer, all of the big top pros, right? Like everybody knows these guys. Well, John Larson was there to listen. I'm really glad because like, I got to say the clip you're about to see, these pros were definitely not happy with the state of the game. And they're not even calling for nerfs or buffs of this. They're actually just wanting more fun things to do for everybody. So this is good for all of us. This is not the, you know, pro player crybaby session right here or whatever, where they're wanting changes this to happen, changes that to happen that benefits them. It's really beneficial for everybody here to have more fun things to do. And John Larson is the guy at Respawn. He sat there and listened to all of the feedback. He said, imagine being an Apex comp fan and not tuning into this. This is good discussions for the meta, ranked, scrims, realm, comp formats, maps, regions, and etc. And this was the clip that went, uh, I guess it did a little bit of, you know, it's just very recently just come out, but it is doing pretty good numbers. And it's got a lot of people interested. Snipe down being very agitated with the state of the game roll the clip the biggest issue that i see is why are we having to have this discussion of what we as players can do to keep it alive like that shouldn't be on us <laughs> to keep the scene alive or relevant like sure. why, why is there too much like this true. is the, like we shouldn't be having this conversation ea should be like oh we, we need to keep the hype we need to do this like host some team deathmatch tournaments or post like control tournaments with the pros have us be more involved with community-based games like this is that there's all this downtime it's like oh so i guess i'll stream ranked but can't do that because it's cheaters so we have to go to third party tournaments like realm I definitely a priority problem there over at ea or respawn because i know there's fault on both ends guaranteed so you guys could see and i really agree with snipe down here it's not realm's job to make apex more entertaining to watch it's not imperial house job to make it more entertaining to watch it's apex's job ea's job respawn's job to keep this scene as you know entertaining as possible or as big as possible or just as a lot of things to do right it's their job it's not the content creator's job it's not realm's job it's not all of these third-party companies but right now you know pros are literally having to not play rank because how bad the cheaters are go play a third party website you know scrim like game scenario thing because it's more fun it's unique it's different and it actually doesn't have as many issues and so I'm glad that, you know, the respawn developer was there to listen and say, hey, look, you know, we're taking the feedback. We're listening to the feedback. We're seeing what you have to say. And I'm glad he was there to hear that because I really think respawn desperately needed to hear that. And shout out to Snipe Down for, for speaking the truth and being able to stand his ground when I really think the community needed it at that point. Also, it's not to say that Realm's perfect. Realm did let him, everybody know that apparently a cheater did attempt to enter into the realm today. And uh, sadly, you know, they're saying they're making memes out of, you know, how do you think it'll end for them? So people are still cheating all over the place. Even in my little community tournament, right? We did a little thousand dollar community tournament here. Someone did show up and cheated. And I had to disqualify him sadly, but it's just like, oh my gosh, man. Like why is there cheaters everywhere? Why? Like we just need to get better quality human beings apparently is what it seems like. But nonetheless, uh, I did want to make mention of that. A little bit of a golden nugget here as we end out the video. This is actually a discarded character design. I think this guy's name was Scunner beforehand, but this is actually pretty cool to see all these old, you know, scrap legend ideas. So this design sadly doesn't seem to be coming into the game anymore, but I do think it's so unique how like all, like how different all these legends are. So you guys could see right here, this is a picture of the way the design looked, but also Garrett had kind of said, does anybody remember this back in the day? So these are like back in the day where all these legends were leaked. Like right now, you know, all these people, right? For the most part, you see all these people and you know, these legends. But a lot of these legends were like not known about. Valk was like, you know, leaked back here. Fuse was leaked back here. Horizon was leaked. And people didn't even really know what a lot of this stuff was. It's kind of crazy to look back and see how far all of this stuff has came. Also, lastly, as we end the video, I want to make mention one last time to Apex Lounge, my brand new YouTube channel. If you guys want to win an Xbox Series X, a PlayStation 5, or an entry-level PC, make sure to go click the link down in the description below. Subscribe to that channel. Like any of the videos. Comment on any of the videos. You get one entry per video and we're going to be picking a winner at the end of the month of april and also i think you'll enjoy the channel if you guys just want to have a one-stop shop for all things apex clips viral clips pro players controversy that they may have arguments that they may have and it'll be a good source and pool of information to draw from to make more videos over here as well my goal is to be more active in general i just feel like i've been lazy and i told you guys i want to push past this laziness and get a little bit more involved so i'll see you all in the next one take care of yourselves as vibrant only positivity and until the next time i will see you all later gators